so every script needs this maps backslash I mean not backslash underscore load colon colon name yeah so that handles the load which always gives us the mp5 that sets up the player and whatnot and other stuff that the map has to go through when it's loading I created a thread right here this thread I call it handle weapons loadout it could be whatever name you want to call it it's up to you. you you could even run it off of the main function right there but I decided to run it off of a thread and if we go to it we'll see the very first thing you have to do to change the gun you have to take all the weapons that the player has and all of these have to be called on the player so everything will be level dot player first as you can see right there all of that has to be called out first that's good enough that's how you know you're doing good so far and then we take all weapons okay that's a function uh, you know that's not the thread that's a function and it will take away all the players weapons next we'll put level players gift weapons so we decide what weapon we want to give them and the weapon is level dot player gift weapon cool you have to put it as a string the weapon so in this case we put between the quotations we put dragon off which is obviously a good sniper gun and so we put that one next we put a level pl dot player set weapon ammo clip so we tell it how many bullets it should have on that clip that's on the gun in this case I put one and remember the string right here has to has to equal the same for that unless you plan on later switching guns and you want to go ahead and do it ahead of time for that other gun that you're going to switch to okay so that's said and done so we we told it hey give us a dragon off with one one bullet inside that gun now level dot player set weapon ammo stock basically how many more mags or rounds whatever you guys call it I think it's max we have left you know how many bullets are in those and we put I put zero just for this tutorial just so you, you can see what I'm talking about and so the sniper gun will have one bullet inside the clip he will not have no more stockpile to reload for the dragon off weapon now for the level for the handgun I'm giving it a USP silencer okay and same rules gift weapon USP silencer set weapon ammo click okay so I'm only setting it to one bullet and then I'm saying level player that uh, give max ammo so it's so after you know he's gonna have one gun only in that one bullet in that clip that's already in the gun but if I if I were not to put this you know the next time he reloads it counts as his second clip so to better understand it uh, this this is one whole clip that's already on the gun and for this gun it holds 12 bullets inside that clip and so if we're only giving them one you have to do the math of you know I think the most you get is 72 okay so 72 minus 12 you'll get 60 so in these and then next stockpile you know you'll have 60 60 um, bullets left but if I set it to level player dot gift max ammo and then the name of the gun it will have 72 in addition to whatever is already stocked in the ammo clip so you'll see that in the, in the, in the video once you you know at the end of this tutorial and then we have to tell it you know, that we're gonna give it a grenade I mean it's optional the grenade you don't have to give them the grenade if you don't want to so level level dot player give weapon frag grenade 
Level dot player set weapon ammo clip. So we're telling you how many grenades. One. Now, gift max ammo um, does not work the same way as a gun if I were to put it down here. So if I wanted to give it four, I would just go ahead and put level dot player gift max ammo. And between the codes, I will put frag grenade, and that's it. I will get rid of this line. Copy that. Copy this one. Place it under here, and give it the max out. Next, you have to. Oh, for this one, this is whether you're gonna carry smoke grenades or flash grenades. So you give the weapon a smoke grenade, American. That's the actual weapon. They don't have another smoke grenade. They could have just call it smoke grenade, but they chose smoke grenade American. So deal with it. Okay, and we give it the maximum ammo. So we're gonna have four, four smoke, four smoke grenades, and one frag grenade. I'll show you in the video. You'll see it in the HUD as well. Now we have to tell it, you know, our secondary class. You know, it has to be the same as whatever you say right here. So if this is a smoke grenade. Our set off secondary class will be smoke. It can only be a smoke or it could only be flash. And if you put smoke grenade American, then you have to put smoke here. Otherwise, you would not get it at all if you put flash here and this is smoke. And vice versa, if you were to put flash grenade here and you put smoke here, you would not get it. Okay? Finally, this is important. Once because once you have given the player all these weapons for him and whatnot, he will not pop up the gun unless you tell him to switch to that weapon. So level player dot switch to weapon and you choose whatever weapon, the dragon off or the USP silencer. Now the second part of this tutorial is changing the player's uh, hands his view models you know the gloves that show in his hand when he's holding a pistol okay and you know I went and looked up at how many we have and so far we have one two three four five six seven so these are the ones that you could use view hands underscore black underscore kid and all of these the rest now to change that you simply have to put level dot player set view model and then between the co quotes you put the model that you're gonna use keep in mind that whatever you use in here you have to add to your song file so if you look at the song file I'm using the view hands op 4 you see the one above here which says, which says view model base view hands this is mandatory. This one, because of the loadout, you will mandatorily have to put weapons, oh, weapons SP, weapon comma SP forward slash MP5. That's mandatory because the load handles that, and so does the view handy view model right there too. Now, because we gave it the guns, different guns, the Dragnoff and a USP silencer we have to go ahead and put those in our song files too otherwise you'll run into into errors and trust me it could be frustrating trying to get just a simple thing like this changing view hands and changing weapons so here's the view hands that we change okay and remember these are mandatory it will pop up an error because the game first has to do the load and the load tells it to put this gun by default and this gun and these view hands by default then after finish loading it will follow your script which is just take away that all the guns and give them whatever guns you set it to and set this view model to so you have to put that in your zone file otherwise you'll run into errors now if you want to know what kind of weapons to you you, you could use or give them go ahead into the raw folder go to weapons folder SP and you should have the list of weapons right there that you could use.